So, okay, so now we are still on the Daily Mail. And someone named Liz Jones. I know Sussex Squad knows exactly who this is. I don't. <laughs> and they get frustrated. You don't know anything, so don't talk about it. Well, I can make my own videos. You don't have to watch. I hope you watch, but you don't have to watch if you think I don't have enough um, knowledge of all these moving parts. Okay, so who is Liz Jones? I have no idea, but she seems to write for the Daily Mail. Okay, voila. Now, if I ask you next week and next month, who is Liz Jones? You know. Be patient because I can't keep track of all these people. Anyway, so very interesting article by Liz Jones. I mean, she said it had all started to die down. The embers still smoldering, but surely not for much longer. The great Mother's Day photo scandal had been explained in a charming tweet by C, right? She picked up on that because I picked up on that. How convenient C, like what does C even mean? Okay, the snap of Catherine and her three children was not some flipped Christmas photo, nor was it a headshot lifted from the cover of boat. It had simply been tinkered with by a princess of Wales who possibly has too much time on her ringless hands as she recuperates from surgery. But then on Monday, Kate was seen in a car with William heading away from Windsor. The two, press the two press photographers outside the gates were taken by surprise, so managed to snap only the back of her lovely head as she turned away from them. The line from the palace was that she was getting a lift with her husband. He was on his way to the Commonwealth Day service in London to a private appointment. Suddenly, bellows were being used on those embers, and social media didn't just catch fire. It exploded in a new nuclear mushroom of speculation absolutely and she asks a very interesting question here's what liz asks um she says um she, okay she said some of it was just plain silly um you know the bricks on the wall didn't match through the car window why on earth are kate and william suddenly in one family car this is a very important question why on earth are kate and william suddenly in a one-family car. She says this is plain silly. I think this is a very, it's so silly, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant question. Why on earth are they suddenly in a one-family car going to separate events when one of those events is such a public and important one, the Commonwealth Service? Why why would Kate interject herself into that experience if she's not going with William? Just go in your own car to your private apartment. It's not like they were in the car being all lovey-dovey so they couldn't bear to part away from each other. So let's get a few last kisses before I go up. They weren't even looking. I mean, the total and complete disconnect between this couple based on that picture, why are they even in the same car together? Right? But so anyway, Liz goes on. How had the happy, open, not a worry in the world woman seen in that Mother's Day shot transformed into this aloof enigma? Exactly, exactly. She knows those snappers outside Windsor like she knows her own cleaner. Why didn't she wave and smile for one second as the car pulled out? Totally bizarre, Liz. I agree. That is what startled us the most. It just wasn't like Kate. The sudden withdrawal of a beaming, stoic goodwill we are used to. Exactly. I mean, and I'm not even British, right? I'm not British. I'm team Meghan and Harry. And I, even I am saying, wait a second. This is a human person. <laughs> So I need to put aside all that, you know, everything else for the moment. And where is, where is this girl? Where is Kate? What happened to Kate? This isn't Kate. This is not Kate. And if it's Kate, she's acting very strangely, right? That was the moment, says Liz, anyone with any sense would blame the palace again for failing to have a joined up strategy in place with everyone on board. I'm not sure about that statement and whether I'm even on board with that statement. But it was the moment that told me that Kate is not cooperating and that she didn't have a hand in Photogate, but took the rap for it. 
And this is where she goes off. I, I don't agree. She now throws the communications team under the bus, which I knew was coming. I can predict these people. It is her PR and communications team who would have chosen it and released it with its bland, cherry message, doubtless carelessly done because it was a weekend and perhaps they didn't really do weekend working. I don't agree. I don't think the communications team had anything to do with it. But like in any organization, any any job, any company, any organization, when the big people screw up, they go find the littlest guy on the totem pole or girl and they let them take the rap for their F ups, right? And they fire you and they take you out of dread. They take you out of your rent. They take you out of your beer little, you know, sustenance, right? And they fire you and take your job away for something that they did. This is what I don't, I don't, I, I, I do not agree with Les on this. How dare you? These people were on their weekend and whoever did this, and I don't think it was a group. This is two people, possibly even one person who huddled together and did this and screwed up, right? They screwed up because they didn't think of all the moving parts. They did not think it all the way through because there is no perfect crime, right? Right? Kate had nothing to do, I don't believe. And if she did, then I think we, we, have, we see a pattern of dishonesty with the Princess of Wales, as I have said. I don't think she had anything to do with this. But there are one, there's one or two people, I think, who did this. And it has nothing to do with the communications team. Maybe someone on the communications team is one of the two who worked with someone else to, to, to orchestrate this whole thing. But this is not, this is not Kate. And, and I do not believe that I do not believe I could be wrong because, I mean, again, Kate could be sneaky and fraudulent and, and a fake and a liar. She could be, right? Um, but I, I, I feel like it's, it's somebody else and that they forged, in my opinion, I think, this is my opinion, um, forged um, Kate's apology. But it wasn't really a forgery because they signed it C- and that's really not Kate's signature, as we saw in the other video that I also did, right? So Liz goes on. So what has made me particularly angry are the headlines suggesting the public has got it in for Kate. The Sun gave over its front page to the order, leave Kate alone. On X, we started to see more and more tweets such as the press killed Diana. Now they're after Kate. No one is bullying the Princess of Wales. Well, amen, glory, hallelujah to that. Amen to that. I mean, certainly, I don't think I'm bullying Kate. I don't think I'm bullying Kate. I mean, the mere questioning of her whereabouts. I mean, in fact, I think on the contrary, on the contrary, I didn't realize how much I actually care about Kate. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, where is Kate? Where is she? What happened to this girl? Yeah, I'm Team Megan. Okay. Everybody knows that. I've been very transparent, but I don't hate Kate. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. That she wasn't more welcoming to Megan, you know, the first part, you know, African origin part, very small part. Not, you know, Kate, Megan is more like, looks more like Kate and her, her ilk than she does look like me. But we know it's in there somewhere. And I'm like, oh, why couldn't they have just embraced Megan? But I don't hate Kate. I don't hate Kate. I'm just disappointed. And so for me, I'm like, where is she? Where is she? And I find myself every day more and more really just genuinely like concerned. I'm more concerned. I'm not bullying Kate by, by raising questions. This is censorship. This is like calling people woke. It's like, shut up, right? Because if you speak, you're a bad person, right? You're woke, right? It's censorship. They're trying to censor people by saying that they're bullying Kate. That's all they're doing because of the cover-up. They're covering the truth, just like these wokeists try to cover the truth and, and shut people up by branding them as woke. That's what this is. So what did she go on to say? 
If the Wales' pu public relations team had completed their media studies and IT course at Community College, oh dear, they'd have known that the way to lay this to rest was for William to have addressed the Fuhrer on Monday evening when he gave a speech for the Earthshot Prize launch pad. He could have included a few jokey references to the doctor family snap and we'd have gone, Phew, everything's fine. William's seriousness at the moment, the shoulders slumped exasperation, the refusal to acknowledge us minions, to make light about his wife's editing skills or reassure us fondly and warmly about her health are fueling the wilder social media speculation. Absolutely true, Liz. Absolutely true. And this could all have been averted, says Liz, our worries laid to rest by a PR team that knew what they were doing and Kate wouldn't have been dragged into it at all, but left to continue her convalescence. Just come clean with the people who bankroll you. It's the least we deserve. This isn't going away. Well, I think she's going to be very surprised with what what happens when they when they're forced to come clean, and um, oh God, you know, okay, don't say anything. 